As we all know, Battleborn was released last week, and despite concerns that it was being compared inaccurately to Overwatch, as of course they are very different games and not really all that similar, it's already quote unquote tracking just ahead of where Borderlands 1 was at launch. Now, that is according to the Gearbox Software creative director Randy Varnell, who said that the studio is quote cautiously optimistic regarding the sales after a steady start. He made some comments about this during a Twitch stream with Colology, and he said, quote, The launch has been pretty good. We do a lot of comparisons back to the first Borderlands back in 2009. That launch felt similar to us. Ultimately, Borderlands was an extremely successful new game for us, which went on to sell almost 8 million units in its lifetime. Battleborn is actually tracking just ahead where Borderlands was on the sales. And he also went on to say that over at Gearbox, they are hopeful and feeling that Battleborn will be basically following in Borderlands footsteps in terms of sales. It will start off with a solid launch, find steady growth over all three platforms and of course word of mouth will continue to increase player base and just keep things trucking along as well as of course regular updates and support from Gearbox themselves. And he went on to say, quote, we're seeing growth every day at a steady rate after a big burst of people at launch. Hopefully we'll continue to see that go up. This is actually pretty good news because as I said, Battleborn has rather unfairly and again inaccurately been compared to Overwatch and Blizzard very craftily timed the release of the Overwatch open beta period at the same time as Battleborn actually released on PC and of course console as well. They've done this many times in the past where they have deliberately timed WoW updates and all other sorts of other things around the time that their competitors release dates. They have done this before and there are some concerns that Overwatch would basically end up stomping Battleborn despite the fact they're very different and Battleborn would fall by the wayside which would be a shame because from what I've seen it looks like an interesting game and it's sort of in the style of, sort of Monday Night Combat which we don't see too many of these days so it would be very much a shame to see this fall because of some sort of inaccurate comparisons to Overwatch so it's it's pleasing to me to hear that it's doing rather well for itself whether or not that continue sadly only time will tell of course Overwatch itself is no not out until the 24th of May so it's going to be a while before we find out exactly what the impact has Overwatch has rather on Battleborn if any it seems that despite concerns that Blizzard's tactic for killing Battleborn with the Overwatch beta might have been, you know, wrong in hindsight, I guess, but I'm still concerned about the future. I just hope that the sales continue to go up and we see a nice, healthy community on both games as they have no need for them to really compete with each other, at least in my opinion. But of course, only time will tell exactly what's going to happen. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.